Patients with the same disease may respond differently to the same medication. The undesired responses are called adverse drug reactions or ADR, which range from simple rashes to serious cutaneous effects and death. According to the National Pharmaceutical Regulatory Agency, Ministry of Health Malaysia, a total of 92,248 cases were reported from 2007 to 2016. And from 2000 to 2013, there were 34 cases of Stephen Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal necrolysis associated with the use of carbamazepine and phenytoin. Mati bagi dia makan ubat yang doktor bekalkan. Tiba-tiba tumbuh bintik merah tu merebak satu badan keluar bintik hitam macam kulit. Terbakarlah jadi hitam semua. These have resulted in social, emotional and economic burdens to the patients as well as their family members and the nation. The question is how to prevent this avoidable ADR? Unraveling the human genome is the key to overcome this problem. In UITM, a human genome database was set up which allows researchers to identify genetic risk associated with diseases and adverse drug reactions. In Malaysia, 14% of the population are found to carry a malfunction protein called HLAB1502 which increased the risk to cause Stephen Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal necrolysis. In other Asian countries, the prevalence of this genetic variant varied from 5 to 25%. Researchers in UITM had successfully produced a simple PCR genetic test kit to identify individual patients at risk of these ADRs. This genetic test will detect four single nucleotide polymorphism that change the function of HLAB protein in patients who are positive for HLAB1502. As recommended by Food Drug Administration USA, patients of Asian ancestry should be screened for HLAB1502 before they are prescribed with carbamazepine and phenytoin to prevent Steven Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal necrolysis. Hari tu sebelum kita bagi ubat ni semua kita ada buat genetic testing HLAB kan? Ah, saya sebelum bagi drugs tu, uh, ada buat genetic test for HLAB. Tu sama saya tu punya Okay, so tak ada kesan-kesan sampingan lah. So far Alhamdulillah, hmm. uh, tak ada kesan sampingan or any symptom yang dia dapat lah. Oh, bagus. Premier Diagnostics Sundrian Berhad, our partner, will manufacture and distribute these kits in Malaysia as well as other Asian countries with an estimated total market value of 19 million ringgit Malaysia. This test kit will help improve patient care by identification of genetic risk towards ADR and realize the practice of precision medicine in patients with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, bipolar syndrome and epilepsy. We need your son to go through HLAB1502 screening test so that we can give him the proper medicine. Okay, doctor. If you understand, just do the best for my kids. We will. Human Genome Project has allowed us to understand our genetic risk for diseases and drug responses to provide a better health care.